I'm not going to go into details of what happened. Just kidding, I am. Uh, I was going to do a video of the bug running and driving just a little bit uh, before I took the motor out. Uh, but as I was doing that, I... Well, first I got the gas tank all plumbed up with new line, new line to the motor. Got the vacuum line hooked back up. I had a different fuel pump on there. Uh, and as I was cranking it over, trying to get it to run again, uh, something caught inside one of the pistons or cylinders. Um, I don't know if something got down in there or something weird happened, but I'm going to take it down at least to the pistons and cylinders, see what it looks like. Um, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not going to video the whole thing because, I mean, it's a very simple engine and I'm just not very good at videoing things. Um, but I'll bring you back to show you things I find, if there's anything inside there, and I hope it's not something caught up inside of the case. If that is the case, then... <laughs> ha! If that's the case. Then we'll tear the case apart and, uh start rebuilding it, fixing what needs to be fixed, but I'll bring you back to that point. Before I go too far, I'm going to show you how far it turns, just so you know what I'm dealing with, and you can make your guesses as to what it is before I even get there. So it turns, you can see the distributor. Oh. So you can hear the clacking. That's what we're dealing with. So that's either... See, it makes it stop when you turn the other way. Right there. But when you go forward, it keeps on going. You can hear it clack like that. It sounds like it's coming over on this side. And I've already looked at the valves and such, and they didn't look like they'd fallen out or anything. But, you know, it could be quite a few things. I don't know how any sort of thing could have gotten down into the cylinder. But we're going to check everything out. If there's nothing in there, then we'll look a little bit further in. Okay? Make your guesses. We'll see who's right. So it doesn't look like there was too much of a rat's nest on the inside. There was a little bit. But since I had it started before, it might have blown some of it out. But uh, it's been apart before. You can tell because somebody busted some fins off the cylinders there. No, I don't know. I don't think I have any extra 1,300 cylinders. So those might have to stay like that for a while until I get other ones. However... Yeah, I'm going to start digging in. I'm going to take this side off first because, as I said, it sounded like it was coming from inside there. But, uh, you know, hopefully it's not inside there. Okay. All right, I'll bring you back to when that's off. It's coming off pretty well, so let's see what's on the inside. Um, it's going to be kind of jiggly here for a second, so I'm just going to... Huh. Nothing inside there. Nothing in there either. Except that. <laughs> that just moved by itself. Did you see that? <laughs> I think I might have broke a connecting rod. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to be fun. Okay, just a second. I'm going to pull this piston off. We'll see what's on the inside. Okay, good news. It wasn't the connecting rod, I don't think. The piston itself ate itself up. Holy cannoli. I don't know why it would do that. <laughs> Man. That's pretty beautiful. Just snapped right in half right at the back end. Probably sent a bunch of stuff in there. 
Oh, look at that. We got worn out crankshaft too. Or maybe just really loose bolts in there. Wow. I don't think that all happened by me running it. <laughs> if it did, then uh, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Motor. Um, but uh, gonna have to take this all the way down and figure out why that one does that. And we'll have to look at the other ones too. But that's that's what happened. <laughs> Goodness. Well, uh. I'll bring you back if anything else exciting happens, but I think that's the answer we're looking for as to why this motor and this car was probably parked. Probably started getting a rod knock. <laughs> and then uh, started exploding and, you know, <laughs> they parked it. So that's going to be somewhat good thing. I've got other crankshafts and other... I don't have other pistons this size, but I'll order a new set anyway because these are cracked. And then we'll have a new motor, newish rebuilt motor in this bug. And I'm not going to do a, a crazy rebuild like some people do. It's just going to be a stock rebuild. All right. Well, as I said, I'll bring you back. Thank you for watching and thank you for hanging around. It's, it's pretty fun. I'm excited for this car to come back together and I've got some other cars around that I'll start making some updates on just in case anybody wants to see them and uh, we'll see you later goodbye found something out um, I was reading the engine code uh, and I found out this is still this is actually a 1200 engine not a 1300 1300 would have an F Oh, there, but this is just, it just starts with a nine, nine, one, four, 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 and then, uh, uh, something else, 85. I was looking at that because I have an extra set of 1200, uh, pistons sitting around, and so I measured these, and they came out to be about 77, and then I measured them, and they came out to be 77, so I have... Pistons and cylinders, that'll work for the engine. Uh, however, you know, this one, terrible amount of slop. And when I came over to number two over here, it also has a little bit of play in it. So, obviously the motor still needs to come apart. Um, but it probably either won't use that crankshaft, or I'll have to go get it ground to a different size. I do have multiple other crankshafts here. I might grab one of them or one of them <laughs> just so I can throw this back together. I gotta make sure I get all the get new bearings, get all the new stuff and throw it back together for the car and then it'll be a driver again and that's what the plan is. <laughs>